the question, the question that has weighed heavily on me of late. How is it possible that a guy and a girl so dissimilar in physical appearance, there being such a disparity in how attractive it is, be nonetheless in what would appear to be a relationship? It ain't done with smoke and mirrors. It ain't done with smoke and mirrors. It ain't done with smoke and mirrors. A much greater attraction seems to come from one more similar to oneself. Personality, perhaps? Without intending to sound judgmental, I would say that he doesn't look like what was once called a live wire or the life of the party. He appears rather expressionless. His movements are stiff and even awkward. Perhaps he's a person of some intellect, an expert in science, the arts, political theory. No, I think not. See how well tailored his clothes are, how well cut his hair is. He ain't done with smoke and mirrors. He ain't done with smoke and mirrors. He ain't done with smoke and mirrors. someone very dear to me, someone very beautiful, to someone much like him. Are you asked? Surely there must have been other areas where you were deficient and he was not. No, I don't believe so. My shortcomings were of an economic nature. He was rich, I was not. You see, I underestimated the appeal to her of things. Imported things on wheels, large things with manicured lawns and Olympic swimming pools, things to wear around her neck that would glisten in the nightlight. Things! Still, I am not bitter. Rather, I'm an observer who saw firsthand how life may not be fair. Would things have turned out different between me and her had I moved up the corporate ladder quicker? Been born of more noble stock? or done better on one of our journeys to Las Vegas? Perhaps! In fact, I'm certain of it. Things would have turned out different between me and her. I know this now. It ain't done with smoke and mirrors. It ain't done with smoke and mirrors. It 
It ain't done with smoke and mirror. It ain't done with smoke and mirror. Know what the story is. 